Hey guys, welcome back to Overtake. I'm Michel. I'm here in Barcelona for the Gran Turismo World Finals 2023. I have also support today here. Welcome to Overtake. So over community, welcome Tom here. Hey Tom. Hey, pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, great. Always an exciting event, the Gran Turismo World Finals. And as you mentioned, we're here to see the world's best drivers in Gran Turismo 7 and determine who's the best. But we also know that you would like to be quicker in the game as well. So we've asked them for their tips and tricks. Let's go. What's up guys? I'm Valerio Gallo from Italy. I'm here at the Gran Turismo World Series Barcelona World Finals. I'm here to give you some tips, some beginner tips for all the new drivers in Gran Turismo. First tip, is to practice. Practice is the key to be always improving and be more consistent. Secondly, to uh, learn the cars, how they behave, the difference between each car and also the tracks. Uh, manage uh, the car and during the races. Uh, try to find the right strategies, the fuel and the tire wear at the same time. Yeah, you can start whenever you want. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Randall from the United States. Um, the best tip that I have for everyone who is trying to get to know, to get better at Gran Turismo, is to know your car. Learn the upshifts and learn how to downshift it because those upshifts and downshifts can make you a lot of time. Hello, I'm Kieran Drummond. I'm a French driver for, uh, for the GT World Series and also for Team Subaru in Manufacturer's Cup. So first tip for me is to, uh, is to watch a lot to replay the better driver than me for, for the lot, like uh, on, the, on the car, on the track, for maybe so many things to, to understand from, uh, from this guy, from the top player. Here's the first tips for be a better driver for me. Hello, my name is Paul Lira and yesterday I won the CGR Cup uh, for 2023 and my tip for today is to, when having a bad situation or getting into trouble during a race, to never give up and to try to recover as much as, as you can, as it happened to me yesterday when I had a crash and it seemed like the race was over but uh, we, I kept my nerves down and recovered to the win. Hey guys, I'm Igor Fraga from Brazil and uh, my tip to becoming better at uh, Gran Turismo is to uh, be able to, you know, um, look the difference between the good player and, you know, yourself. So what they are doing differently and it's not only about, you know, racing line and stuff like that, but how they release the brake, how they start to turn the wheel, you know, all these commands later together, you know, makes your car uh, behave differently, you know, and you can maybe find more grip in there. So, uh, yeah, uh, being able to compare yourself uh, to the better players and, you know, look for the difference in there. So also putting targets, it's boosting yourself. It's also, let's say, motivating yourself can help you to focus more into things, into the important races. Like without the real passion, the focus doesn't really go to 100% or even beyond the 100%. You train every day, every day. A uh, lot of motivation, determination, some track, and maybe give your maximum when you train, when you're practicing, when you do a race. So yeah, keep pushing, you can do better. and. Uh, uh, let's see if you, are, if you come in the GT World Series. Uh, Miyazawa Takuma, I'm uh, representing Japan. Um, and my tip for uh, Gran Turismo drivers who want to drive faster is to uh, kind of stay loose so that uh, you're not all tense when you're driving. Because uh, when you're tense, uh, you tend to, uh, you know, your movements uh, tend to become rough. Uh, so to avoid doing that, you want to, you know, kind of keep your body a little bit loose so that uh, you you can res respond right away to anything that happens on the track. For now, I'm going to try and qualify for the Pro-Am Media Race and try and put some of those tips to practice. You made it, Tom. Yeah, nah. Qualified for the uh, finals. We made it, we made Such it. A group. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Tom is giving Cristodulo a fight because we need the top four. The guy spun, Thomas in fourth again. Yes, Tom got it. Oh, goodness me, they just 
Spanish to make him do that call me right off guard. Everyone's saving their penalties at the same time. So overtake through into uh, seventh place. I was just going to say, Tom Harrison, Lord, I tell you what, he's not after a bit of bitching and moaning on the radio here today. <laughs> he's, he's taking it seriously. That's amazing. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay, the Pro Hammer's just finished. The legend that is Will for Team Yorkshire. And we came sixth. Now, that's not a podium. Slightly disappointing. I know you wanted to win. And everybody behind, all six cars were six wide, yep. bashing into each other. So Will had to defend for 10 laps. Pretty much, yeah. Some terrible driving standards, but we love it. That's what we're here for. And we hope the people watching on Gran Turismo TV enjoyed it. Hi, my name is Coco Lopez. I'm a Gran Turismo driver from Spain. And the tip I got for you is that if you want to improve and get the best, not try to learn from zero a, com a combination like track and car and try to get as fast as possible from the beginning. At first, try to be smooth little by little because that's the way you don't burn out yourself and you go always learning. If you go fast from the beginning and you do mistakes, you will never get the confidence to be consistent in race pace. Most of the people try to uh, really go so aggressive at the, at the very first but it's about to be very cold while driving and things can go way better as the driving style in Gran Turismo is really paying you for driving smoothly. Hey guys, my name is Mikhail Hussar, I'm from Germany and I would like to give you an, a tip from a pro driver how you can improve yourself on Gran Turismo 7. As some of my other colleagues, if I can say that, already shared their own tips, from my side, I can say that if you have the opportunity to practice with very fast players from the game, try to use it as an opportunity to practice with them as much as you can, because they will probably show you something else which you have never even taken into consideration before. And once you see that, you want to try to apply that onto yourself. So once you, once you see that, once you can also apply that onto yourself, I'm sure you, be, you can become a better driver than before, so keep practicing. And my tip for you to try to improve and get as fast as possible is to try to be always learning for your mis from your mistakes because that's the way that if you are analytic, you can keep doing what you are doing well, but do better what you are doing wrong. Hello everyone, I'm Angeli Nostrosa and I will be driving for the Manufacturer Series and Nations Cup. Do you know that you don't need uh, an expensive wheel to be fast, so just Buy, buy anything you can and uh, start practicing, that's the main thing. If you feel you're, you're not improving too much, start watching other people, other drivers' lap times or, or replays, so you start knowing the lines, how to brake, how to trail brake, and uh, how to take the lines and everything else, so that's it. If you feel you're not um, improving, just practice more, uh, keep your head up always and that's it, you will get better. We hope so too. If you like the driving tips, if they can help you in some way, yeah, we'd be very happy if you can like, subscribe and also hit the bell. It was a great weekend here at the Gran Turismo World Finals in Barcelona and uh, yeah, Tom, you also did very well in the Pro-Am. You had any okay. other highlights on the weekend? Well, it, undoubtedly it is the Vision Gran Turismo, which was celebrating 10 years of the program with a couple of new additions from Genesis and Bulgari this weekend. So mm. can't wait to try those in the game early next year. And also, if you want to find out more about those, be sure to check out the overtake.gg website where I've been writing several articles through the weekend. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.